You know, from time to time, I like to feature an individual species of tree and talk about it. It may not be an exciting job or something unique and special, but uh, a lot of my viewers on this channel um, come to it because they want to learn more specifics about some of the trees. And California is very unique. We have a Mediterranean climate where I live, and which is in Silicon Valley. I'm actually above Silicon Valley in the Santa Cruz Mountains, so my environment's a little different. But down in the valley, um, it's such a unique, special environment that we're able to import trees from all over the world. So a lot of you guys out there that have tree services, you might not have as many species of tree that we have to deal with. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. Today's tree is an interesting type of eucalyptus. Check it out. Eucalyptus ficifolia. Beautiful flowering tree. It has amazing red flowers on it. And it's a real showstopper if you see it in full bloom. But there are some real serious problems with this tree. It's an evergreen tree. It keeps its leaves on it all year round. And it does spring, springtime bloom uh, the red flowers, which last for several weeks, um, even up to a month. Uh, some of the weakness problems is, as you can see here, it is riddled with holes from a sap sucker. Sapsucker is a type of woodpecker that just riddles it with circular passageways that lead to weaknesses. And you can see all the way around on this tree, it's just inundated with these little holes and they don't stop. They just keep coming back. And uh, because of that, there's some areas of the tree that are additionally weakened by these birds. But there's other problems that I wanted to bring to your attention. It's it's a type of tree that has a lot of really heavy seed pods, extremely heavy seed pods. Look at this, we got another big weakness over here, which this is what led me to do a significant lightening of this tree. You can see all the brush that I've cut off of this tree. I uh, balanced it out. I should have taken some before pictures. Here's kind of a tuft that has been kind of lion's tailed all the way out and others with a big poof on the end. And the seed pods can get excessively heavy. Everywhere I was looking up this tree were, were small broken branches. And it, uh, it's the kind of tree that can self-destruct. So in order to keep this old girl here, we've got to lighten it up everywhere. Here's what those heavy seed pods look like. And sometimes these things will be so abundant, and they're heavy. I mean, they're, they're really heavy. Sometimes they're so abundant that they cause the tree to just self-destruct. And let me show you what I was finding throughout the tree. Everywhere I looked, the branches were like this. They were cracked and broken. So a lot of the work I was doing was just cleaning up all these broken bits throughout. And had I not cleaned it up, all this growth would have come off of it and then that would have broken. So it, it's sort of a self-perpetuating problem. I took a fair amount off of it. Um, I did use the bucket on this tree, so I was able to get to, out to all the ends. Uh, might be a little sparse, but I don't think I had any other options. I'm going to leave any of the foliage down low, but you can see that uh, either the gardeners or the past tree companies, they just got up there and they stripped everything out and left all the weight on the end. And consequently, they're just going to get heavier and heavier and heavier and break off. So I'm going to keep them as light as I possibly can, hope for the best. And if it breaks, it breaks. But I've just got to tell the client that's uh, one of the hazards of this particular type of tree. It's quite old. This tree is probably 75, 80 years old. And it's an old historical house that's been resurrected. And you can see it's got a giant date palm in the back there. And uh, this is an interesting tree. A lot of people think this is a pine tree. This is called the Causarina echistifolia, the horsetail beefwood. This tree is also being attacked by those same sapsuckers that create little holes all the way around. 
And I think that's part of the reason you've got all these big undulating um, wounds. Those are as a result of the, the sap suckers. Because um, you can see that in the center of this wound is the area where they've been hammering. And for some reason, birds are very, very consistent in going in patterns, you know, really nice straight circle patterns. And a lot of trees will tolerate it, but uh, it does create weaknesses.